not even in the same part of the bracket. They just get sprinkled around. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sprinkled Little Max all over the bracket. But here we go. Rich Brown versus Tempo on Battlefield. That's going to be a little tough for Tempo, but I guess he was okay with it. Yeah, oh well, I mean, when, oh. it, when it comes to, you know, the stages for Little Mac, <laughs> Battlefield isn't that, that bad in comparison to the other, the other neutrals, but all these platforms is going to make it that much easier for Rich Brown to pressure with his Nair. Very true. It's always interesting to watch these Little Macs play. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody has a 4-glory Little Mac, where you just <laughs> run around, roll, and you use F-tilt, F-smash. So when you watch the precise Little Max play, you're you're just completely confused on so <laughs> what they're doing, but it's working. Yeah, especially with uh, Little Max who can study the the perfect pivot up tilts. Yeah, who are really on point with their confirms, and especially their kill confirms. Those are the ones you really need to watch out for. Should have landed and blocked there. It would have been a decent possibility for him to get the KO punch. But right now he is rolling around doing the down tilt. Down tilt being so safe from Little Max, but you gotta be very aware of. Uh, Mewtwo's Nair puts you in a horrible position, of course, in a great position for Mewtwo to get, just, you know, get that free grab. Yeah. And Mewtwo's so light, Ooh. so he is going to die pretty soon. If he can get a nice hard hit F smash, he'll do fantastic. But he has to watch out for Mewtwo's grab. Oh, unfortunately, Tempo did oh. not go for the up B. Oh. That was a perfect opportunity to up B. And that might have even been enough to kill. He pressed every button on the control stick right there. <laughs> <laughs> this little Mac really wants to KO. No patience. Wow, he is an air fighter. Wow. Okay, nice short hop to there. But Tempo going right in again. Relentless pressure. You know, you know, Little Max just loves pressure. Yeah. He just <laughs> loves to go in, throw, throw blows. Oh, good. Nice. That just negates whatever attack you're doing. And then a B right out of that neutral air. Um, that's one thing about that neutral air. It actually puts you in a bad position many of the times. And that was a good example of that. Mm -hmm. I have to watch out when you're at K percent when you do that, especially with a move that your opponent has that comes out early. Now, Tempo needs to be aware of the spacing of, oh and that, that's, that's the game. He should have air dodged quite a while ago. Temp and what I was saying was Tempo needs to be aware of the spacing of Rich Brown's down tilt. It's, the tail is ridiculously long. Yeah. And just getting hit by that once can put you in a bad position. I mean, Little Mac, whenever you get hit once, that could be your stock. Mm -hmm. Very true. And it's tough for Lil Mac because the best way to counter that is to jump over and hit the Mewtwo from the air while he's down tilting. But <laughs> Lil Mac is no air fighter. No. So he does not have good aerials. Or good wow. Being able, Rich Brown SDIing and being able to air dodge out of that jab combo. It seems like Rich Brown knows very well to be able to jump after getting hit by the down tilt. He needs air dodge. He needs air dodge. He needs to jump air dodge. He's going to make it back. Ooh, okay. Tempo going beyond the limits and going high. Good choice. Going high again, though. Oh, this could be it. That That's the stock. Yeah, that was definitely the spot where you needed the air dodge. Sometimes, you ever do something once, and they don't catch it, but you have a feeling it'll work the second time? <laughs> yeah, that's what happened there. Rich Brown saw the high jump the second time. Now, one thing I should have mentioned in the beginning is that Rich Brown actually has a lot of experience when it comes to Little Max. Like I said, we have like eight Little Max in SoCal, so just living in here, you're going to learn the matchup. It's going to happen. But, of course, Little Mac, uh, Rich Brown actually hates Little Mac. Really? Despises this character. <laughs> Does not think he should be in the game. <laughs> so I mean, he learned this matchup. He learned this matchup to be able to deal with it. So yes. I guess he had issues with it. <laughs> but he seems to be doing pretty well against Tempo right now. Oh, oh my goodness, never mind. Down smash, connecting, and taking Rich Brown's first stock. It's always scary when you have a lead against Little Mac because you know you can just get an early KO on him by knocking him off the stage. But he can also just get an early KO on you. He has his KO punch uh, nearly charged up. All he needs is like 20 or 30%. And... And on, on Mewtwo, is, I think it's oh even less than that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he saw the Mewtwo coming. He's like, I'm not getting hit by that. I'm, I'm out. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I was saying, I think on Mewtwo, uh, it's even lower than that. I think it's about 17% with the amount of rage that he had. Hey, good to see you too. The good stuff on Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, Rich. Good right. stuff. We have K9. I just realized that with his tag, you know, it's K9. Like, kind of like, like a dog. Yeah. I wonder why. I, 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 wonder noticed, why. I noticed that a, a while back, hey. but, you know, sometimes you just don't ask questions. You're like. <laughs> I don't know. He's, he, he reminds me. He, doesn't he kind of look like, you know, one of those lost puppies that, like, you know, they're just, like, lost and chill, but they 